Hello and welcome back to Hollow Acres Homestead. My name is Stephanie. We haven't done a garden tour in a couple of weeks. It's been a couple of weeks, so I figure let's go ahead and do it today. So we are at the very front of the garden. Cucamelons are growing in pretty well here on the left side. Right side if you're looking at it. Yeah. All of the cucumbers and sunflowers have died. But our marigolds are still going strong. I started mulching just a little bit. Just kind of was seeing what would it do, you know? There's gaps. It's not the prettiest looking thing ever, but there's still growth. Here's my door. I cut it in half because frankly I was just getting tired of moving the entire door. It's a heavy door. That's all dead. There's nothing going on over there. I did plant some beans. So it looks like some of them are struggling. So I need to come through with some compost, top it off. We're gonna open the door. Look at that. Look how much easier that is. I can do it with one hand, kinda. And a foot. A hand and a foot. So much easier. This was the pumpkin patch. I have since realized that this area does not get enough sun. We get about five hours of sun, so the melons are not developing very well. We do have some in here. There's a watermelon. See over here's a honeydew. Got some things happening. I see a pumpkin vine, but there's no fruiting really happening. So I have started moving all of the beds. I left the basil because it's just so epic. Look at that basil. I did start some seeds. Oh wow, those came up quickly. What do we got? Oh, those are all brassicas. Cabbages, broccolis, things like that. This tray is herbs. And this tray, half of it is cucumbers. Look, we got cucumbers coming up. And then I tried some tiger melons again. Nasturtiums and celostia. Three little trays that I just did a couple days ago. A lot of our basil is starting to flower, which is beautiful. I'm going to be drying all of the flowers that I possibly can. Drying a bunch of the basil. Ignore the bag. That's, that's a bag of compost right there. There's the loofahs. I mean, isn't that glorious? They're a little droopy. And I have noticed none of them are putting on any blooms or any fruit. So we just have a whole bunch of vines, which is nice, I guess. But I wanted loofahs, you know? Look, everything's almost gone. It's all bare. I took down that um, trellis there. I didn't take out down the end there, but um, took down the first one. It was falling. Oh, I didn't show you. Here is the banana tree. This banana tree seems to be doing well. Over here, these are blackberries. They are finally starting to come back, but they are taken over by weeds. There's a bunch of squirrels in the trees above me that are dropping down a bunch of walnuts. Well, they're not walnuts. I really don't know what kind of nut they are, but that's... they keep falling. I pulled out a bunch of weeds from here. We do still have some cucamelons, marigolds, bunch of marigold. I am picking all of the flowers and I've been drying a lot of them. I have about a half of a quart jar full right now. More basil flowers. Still I'm gonna come out and get and dry those. Here's bananas! This first tree does not look very happy. It does not. So hopefully it takes, but the other two look alright. Looking pretty okay. See here in this long bed, I have just neglected the crap out of this bed. I'm going to continue taking the archways down. It really doesn't look good down here. But what are you going to do, right? A lot of cabbages, lettuce, and broccoli are what I'm planning to put in there. So I do need to get this cleaned out, add some compost on top. Here's our herb bed. I went ahead and planted a, long, a row along the back side, all of tomatoes all the way down. Different types of tomatoes. They're little now. Hopefully they'll grow up and cover up the trellis. More basil. A lot of basil. A lot of basil. I pulled out all of the parsley that had gone to seed. There's my shovel. Tomatoes. Bunch of mint. The mint is doing well. Here. 
I've neglected this bed too. We have a couple of tomatoes left. And uh, there's one ginger down there. Got some mint here. And I think I sowed some beans along there so it would grow up, up there. Wasps. Wasps. These are our tomatoes that are left. I pulled everything out that was sick. We have some tomatoes coming in, which is good. It's a good thing, but the plants do not look good at all. More basil. These beds here, these one, two, three are mostly empty. Okay, these, these two beds are mostly empty. That one is empty. I pulled everything out of it. I'm gonna move the bed because there's too much shade okra in here some kind of animal came through and ate all my okra sage is doing nice though these tomatoes here are brad's atomic tomato they are cherry tomatoes in ground garden space i did plant i transplanted um zucchini over here they all died so i just direct seeded probably five days ago and i've gotten some coming up Looking good. I'll probably come through and add some more seeds because there's still time. This here is mullion. I'm going to take some of the leaves. It's furry. It's probably hard to see on the camera, but it's very furry. And this is medicinal. It helps with asthma. Because mullion helps with asthma, I am going to dehydrate some of the leaves and put them in a jar. If ever needed, inhale them. Apparently that's how it's supposed to work. I don't have asthma, but my husband does. So it was something I was interested in. And next year, see the first year they put out their leaves. And then the second year, six foot tall flowers, which are bright yellow, I thought was really cool. I'm getting tore up by bugs. We have to do this quickly. This, these two beds have potatoes. This bed here, potatoes all the way down, um, russet, I believe. And these are sweet potatoes. And something came through and ate all of the leaves, but it looks like they're putting some leaves back on, which is good. A lot of the tomatoes that I just showed you I planted out, this is what's left of them. All of these peppers, they're just not growing. So I don't know what's up. More tomatoes. Let's see, blue elderberry tree. I'm hoping that these can do something before um, it gets too cold and then they die. My citrus trees are looking a little funny. They're a little shrivelly, so I think I should probably fertilize them. Yeah. Seems like this stuff, it's, it's stunted. A uh, bunch of onions from seed. Oh, uh, geez, something came through and got my kumquat trees. Dang it. This is so frustrating. Okay, we're at the end of the sweet potato bed. I know it's really hard to tell. Look, one okra. Woohoo! Potatoes. Okay, now this is these are the new beds that I did. I did extend them. Let me back up a bit. You can still see all my trash and crap in the corner. But I extended these beds. I planted pumpkins. And they're growing. Pumpkins and sunflowers. So in this bed is mostly sunflowers. We can see them starting to come up. And here, pumpkins. Down in this spot, we get about seven hours of sun, roughly, from about eight to four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three, four. Well, roughly about seven hours of sun, gets the most sun down here. So this is where I put the pumpkins. I'm really hoping that by putting them down here, I'm gonna actually get some pumpkins. They should at least do something before it gets too cold. December 1st is our first frost date. You know what, actually I looked last week and I think it went back, it's like November 20 something. Um, but we're just gonna kinda see, it's a, you know, experimental. Last year around Christmas, it was 100 degrees. So if it's that same way this year, then I'll have pumpkins. Ooh, the light went out. That's it. Mm-hmm. There is not much going on in the garden, except for, you know, death. <laughs> a lot of things have died. I've pulled out a lot of stuff. I added banana trees. Those are new and awesome, and I'm so excited for those. So it is now August uh, 20th, I think that's what today is. I don't know what today is. Saturday. It's Saturday. So we are towards the end of August now. And this is normally the time when everything starts dying off. It's the end of its growing cycle, planting new things, and starting brassicas for our fall garden. 
This was definitely not one of the better garden tours, but we still have three, four months of growing, so there's still plenty of time to bring a whole bunch of life back into the garden. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, and we'll see you next time here on Hollow Acres Homestead.